Hi, I'm Ms. Cornwell. I teach third grade at Arbor Heights Elementary and I'm very excited to be learning with you again today. Before we start today's lesson, you'll need to gather a few materials. And the first one is this week's learning packet. If you don't have a printed version, you can find one that you could print on the Seattle Public Schools website. But if you don't have a copy of the learning packet, that's just fine. You can follow along on the screen that I'm going to be sharing in this video, or if you happen to have your student response book at home, you can find the articles in there as well. The next thing you'll need is a turn and talk partner. Remember, if you have someone watching this video with you at home, you can turn and talk to them. If you usually speak to them in a language other than English, feel free to have your discussions in that language. If you're watching the video by yourself, you can just think about your answers in your head. At the end of today's lesson, I'll give you some tips for IDR time today, so you might want to have your IDR book ready so you can go straight to IDR after this. Take a few moments to gather those materials, and then we'll get started. In our last lesson, we read an article called Banning Tag. And we thought about what was the most important thing to understand and remember from each section. Those were the important ideas. We also learned about this very important sentence. The reason I think this is. Today, we're going to read, uh, we're going to start by reading an article called Smile, You've Got Homework. We'll then read another article as well, and both articles are opinion articles, which means the author is going to tell us their own opinion and then include some reasons to support their opinion so that they're trying to convince us as readers to agree with their opinion. We'll stop after each section today, and just like we did yesterday, we'll think about the important ideas. In an opinion article, like the ones we'll read today, the important ideas are the reasons that the author gives to support their opinion. So, after each section, we'll ask ourselves this question. What is a reason in this section that supports the author's opinion? If you're using your student response book, you can turn to page 58 to find the first article. If you're using the learning packet, you can open up to the article, Smile, You've Got Homework. Or if you're just following along with me, just sit back and wait until I get it up on the screen. Smile, You've Got Homework. Homework. Now there's a word that can put a frown on your face. Many kids don't like doing it. Busy teachers don't always have time to plan it or grade it. Many exhausted parents have to remind their children to do it. If homework causes so much unhappiness, then why do teachers assign it? One simple reason. Homework helps kids learn. A 2006 study showed that children who do homework do better on class tests. That's one benefit of homework. Here are some others. What is the author's opinion in this article? Can you tell already? This author's opinion is that homework is helpful for kids. I know that because they said one benefit, and benefit is a good thing, one benefit of homework, and here are some others. So I think they're gonna share more reasons. What is a reason in this section that supports the author's opinion that homework is helpful for kids? Turn and talk. When I've asked that question to third graders in the past, or to students in the past, they've told me they think one reason, the reason that supports the author's opinion in this section, is that a study showed that children who do homework do better on class tests. So homework can help kids do better on tests. The next section is practice makes perfect. Remember, as you listen, Try to think about what is the reason in this section that supports the author's opinion. As any kindergarten teacher will tell you, students need to practice saying their ABCs in order to learn them. 
In fact, practice is necessary to learn most of what is taught in school. Unfortunately, there is not enough time in the school day for students to practice all that they learn. That's what homework is for. Homework provides the practice time that students need. Homework also helps a teacher teach more effectively. More effectively means better. Helps a teacher teach more effectively. Reviewing homework assignments helps the teacher know what the students understand and what they don't. With this information, teachers can decide whether to reteach a lesson or move on. And this, illustrate, or this photograph here has a caption that says, homework helps students practice what they're learning in school. What is a reason in this section that supports the author's opinion? Turn and talk. Some students have said that they found two reasons in this section. One is that homework gives kids more time to practice their work. And the second is that homework helps teachers teach better. The next section is memorizing facts. Like it or not, memorization is an important part of learning in school. Students need to memorize math facts, how words are spelled, historical dates, and other information. But memorizing information, like practicing skills, takes up valuable class time. Having students memorize, and memorizing means learning something well enough that you won't forget it, like that you have it in a snap. Having students memorize facts for homework gives teachers more time during the school day for actual teaching. In addition, students don't always need a teacher's help to memorize information. Why waste the teacher's time with this type of schoolwork? What is a reason in this section that supports the author's opinion? Remember, the opinion is that homework is helpful for kids. Turn and talk. Some students have said that they think that one, that the reason in this section is that homework gives kids more time to practice memorizing the facts they need for school. The next section is organization and planning. Homework can help kids learn how to organize and plan their time. Students with homework must set aside time to get it done. Other activities like spending time with friends or watching TV may have to wait until homework is done. Homework also helps kids learn how to prioritize tasks or decide which tasks must be done and in what order. Now, I didn't know that word prioritize. I didn't know what it meant, but I found that when I kept reading the sentence, the author actually defined it for me. So let me reread that, see what prioritize means. Homework also helps kids learn how to prioritize tasks or decide which tasks must be done and in what order. Okay, so that's what prioritize means. And how to plan for how long each task should take. Skills like these are very important to academic success. What is a reason in this section that supports the author's opinion? Turn and talk. Sometimes when I'm having a hard time finding the important idea in a section, I start by looking at the first sentence because often the author includes the important idea in the first or the last sentence of the paragraph. The first sentence of this section is, homework can help kids learn how to organize and plan their time. And then the rest of the section kind of talks about, gives examples of what that looks like, organizing and planning their time. So I think that is the important idea. That's the reason that supports the author's opinion. Homework helps kids learn to organize and plan their time. The last section is school and home. 
Homework gives parents a chance to become more involved in their children's school lives. Parents can help with homework while talking with their kids about what they are learning. Parents can also make homework more fun and interesting, and they can help their children see the importance of the work they are doing. So smile when you hear the word homework. It's good for you. What is a reason in this section that supports the author's opinion? Turn and talk. Some students have told me that they think a reason that supports the author's opinion in this section is that giving homework helps parents be more involved in their children's school lives. Again, we can find the important idea in this section by looking at the first sentence of the paragraph. In this article, the author states their opinion that homework is helpful for kids and then gives several reasons in each section or important ideas that support their opinion. The next article we'll read has a different opinion about the same topic. Homework, who needs it? Is homework good for kids? Do kids learn more if they do homework? Teachers, students, and parents have been debating, debating means arguing over, have been debating these questions for years. Many studies have looked at the impact impact means effect, have looked at the impact of homework of, on student learning, but there is no clear evidence or proof that homework helps students learn more. In fact, one 2012 study found no significant relationship between time spent on homework and grades. That's one argument against homework, but it's not the only one. Let's take a look at some others. What is this author's opinion about homework? This author thinks that homework is not helpful for kids, and they give at least one reason in the first section. What is a reason in this section that supports the author's opinion that homework is not good for kids? Turn and talk. I think that in this section, one reason is that a study found that it says no significant relationship. That means that doing homework did not help kids' grades. Let's find some other reasons. The next section is titled, Let Kids Be Kids. Students spend about seven hours a day in school. Most of that time, they are thinking, listening, reading, and writing. Pretty exhausting stuff, really tiring. Kids have little time during the school day to relax or spend time with friends. When children get home from school, they need to unwind. Unwind means relax. They need time to unwind. They do not need to do more schoolwork. Most adults don't come home from a full day at work and do even more work for their job. So why should kids? And then there's that caption that says kids need time to be kids after school. The reason in this section that supports the author's opinion? Turn and talk. When I've asked this question to students in the past, they've said that a reason that supports the author's opinion in this section is that kids need time to relax and unwind after school. The next section is let families be families. Homework is a burden for kids. A burden is something really hard to deal with. Homework is a burden for kids, but it can be a burden for moms and dads too. After a long day, parents are tired. The last thing they want to keep doing to do is keep reminding their reluctant children. Reluctant means not wanting to do something. Their reluctant children, do your homework. Homework can be confusing or difficult, and parents don't always have time to help. This means that kids must sometimes struggle through hard homework assignments on their own, and moms and dads are left feeling guilty for not helping. This is stress that busy families don't need. 
Families need time to do enjoyable things together. Enjoyable means fun. To do enjoyable things together. Many children and their parents say goodbye in the morning and often don't see each other again until after five o'clock. That leaves only a few hours for family time before going to bed. It's important for families to spend the little time they have together talking, reading, and doing things they all enjoy. What is a reason in this section that supports the author's opinion? Turn and talk. In this section, I found two reasons, and I used my strategy of looking at the first sentence to find the important ideas. One reason I found is that homework is a lot of work for parents too, helping their kids with homework. And the second reason is in the second paragraph that families need time to do fun things together and homework can take away that time. The next section is who likes homework? If you ask students if they like homework, many will probably say they do not. Because students associate homework with school, negative feelings about homework can turn into negative feelings about school, and disliking school makes learning more difficult. Is homework worth the stress? Family conflict, conflict means argument or fighting. Family conflict and loss of interest in learning that it seems to cause? The answer is no. And then we have this photograph with the caption, homework can cause stress for the whole family. What is a reason in this section that supports the author's opinion? Turn and talk. Students in the past have told me that the reason in this section is that, that supports the author's opinion is that homework can make kids not like school. I'm sure you have your own opinions about the topic of homework. We've now read two articles about homework, and we discussed the reasons that support the author's opinion, or the important ideas in the section. Next time, we'll have a chance to share our own opinions about this topic. Before we end our lesson for today, I want to remind you to read to do IDR for at least 20 minutes today. As you do IDR today, remember that it's important to check your understanding as you read by stopping once in a while to do what we call self-monitoring. You might have a, had a poster like this in your classroom at school to remind you of some questions you can ask yourself as you read. The first one is the one that I ask myself all the time as I'm reading, which is, what did I just read? So as you do that today, as you read today, try stopping, maybe after every chapter or every page, and ask yourself, what did I just read? What's happening? Ask yourself, do I understand what I'm reading? Do I know what most words mean? And is the book interesting and fun? Maybe you make a goal for yourself to stop three times as you read today during IDR and ask yourself these questions. If you find that you don't understand what's happening, you don't know what some of the words mean, or you're having a hard time getting into the book, one way you can, one thing you can try is using fix-up strategies. If you don't understand, try using fix-up strategies. One that I use very often is rereading. Try going back and rereading the section slowly and carefully. See if you can figure out what was confusing. Another one to try is reading ahead to look for clues. I did that when I tried to find the meaning of the word prioritize in the article today. When I read ahead, I found that the author had actually already told me the definition. If rereading and reading ahead don't work, you, al you also have comprehension strategies you can try like visualizing, inferring, or wondering. So, as you read today, ask yourself these questions and try some fix-up strategies. I'll see you next time. Bye.